So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, to go to a Namecheap website and buy a really cheap domain name and uh, issue an SSL certificate for it in AWS and assign it to our static S3 uh, served website. So let's, let's do that. So I chose some uh, really cheap domain name and I'm going to buy it for like 77 uh, pennies and total it's like one pound almost. Let's go to our dashboard and we will, we will manage our domain now. So we need to change DNS. Let's go to advanced DNS. And you see we have this uh, CNAME record. We want to delete it because we don't want it to point to this default page. So we want to add another CNAME record. How do we know it? We just go to our AWS console. And here we go to S3. And we just copy this URL that we have here and we add it to our, what? It does like something, maybe HTTP, yeah. And in host, we need just to add www and I think that's it. I think we have to wait a little bit uh, before it starts working because uh, it us usually takes some time like 30 minutes or maybe one hour for your DNS to be um, working. So if we open it now, I think it will be pointing still to the old page or just looks like it is pointing nowhere yet. Our domain name got propagated and we finally can try to open our website. But if you, if you open and refresh it, you'll see this uh, 404 not found error. And um, to resolve it, it's a little bit uh, of a tricky thing. Uh, your bucket name should match your domain. So we just need to go and rename our bucket or create new bucket and copy the files to it. To it. So let's do it again. I'm going to copy settings from this one. And I need to hit this tick and I need to name it as www and then the name of our website. And I'm going to upload the files again. And we are going to the properties and we are going to enable our static website hosting. And we're gonna add our permissions packet policy. I'm just going to copy it again from the bucket that is already existing. Okay, this is fine. We need to edit this one and save change. Oh, again, I forgot to. I forgot to rename it, but that's okay. Oh, and now we refresh it and we don't even need to um, to propagate our bucket name again. And it is getting this website so we can try to join. But you see, we are again can't see our uh, camera stream because it is not on HTTPS. So now we're gonna uh, now we're going to issue an uh, HTTPS certificate, SSL certificate for our, for our website and go to another uh, service that AWS let us use, Route 53. So we want to transfer our domain. So we wanted to create a hosted zone, our domain. Let's just copy it and it will be public hosted zone created. 
So our hosted zone has these name servers and we need to update them in our custom DNS provider. If we go to name service and change it to custom DNS and then we have to copy this stuff. And we tick the arrow. So we updated our name servers. So let's go to certificate manager and let's request a new certificate. So here we need to pass the domain name. this one and this one and let's request and let's go and create a record and you see we already have this one validated and we need to wait for validation for this one so now if you go to our hosted zone in root 53, uh, we will see these two CNAME records that are here to verify our certificates. So soon they are gonna be updated. So uh, while we're waiting, again we can go to CloudFront. and create a new distribution. So let's uh, select our origin domain. Let's use the website endpoint, no worries. Here it is optional. A name, let's name it this. Now here we're gonna just use North America and Europe. We change it to this one that includes both of our domain names. And we add it here. And we created the distribution. It is deploying. Now we are going to our hosted zone and let's delete this one that we just created and let's create a new record for our root domain alias choose endpoint choose distribution create record Okay, and uh, we also need to add the uh, same record for our domain with uh, www. So we just do the same. We choose the same distribution and create it. So you see they're both here. And now we can um, go to the DNS propagation website and just check for our w ww thingy we still have some red statuses but for for this one for this one they are all seem to be green except Australia but we don't care about Australia much so now if you go to our WebRTC online we have to access it we can access it with HTTPC and you see it asks us about our permissions for the camera so we can allow it and we can we can join but we can't join because uh, now it would uh, complain about http on our backend so we need to add https there as well and i'll tell you how to do it in the next video 
Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope it was useful for you. Stay tuned and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.